Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Aruba Irfan. I am the member of group number 10. My group leader name is Komal Talib and my main topic is communication software. First of all, we'll discuss about software. So what is software? In order to operate and relate computer devices, we use various type of program which is called as software. Computer software consists of three main software that is system software, application software and programming languages. Here we discuss only two main types of software which is application software and system software. Application software it is a group of program designed to accomplish a single task or a group of related tasks. So in order to carry out any single task we use a program which is called as application software the next is system software it is a background software that enables application software to interact with each other so in order to interact the application software the uh, background software which we use is called as system software system software is further divided into two main software that is operating so system and communication software so communication software is defined as it is an application or program designed to pass information from one system to another system. It provides remote access to the system and transmits files in a multitude of format between computers. In order to transmit a bundle of files from one computer to another computer, this system provides a remote access to software. It consists of three main programs that is First, it helps a user to establish a connection between the computer or network. Second, it manages the transmission of data, instructions and information. How are information, instructions and data can be transmitted to another computer? Uh, it, the communication software manages this all process. The, these two software, these two functions is basically the function of system software. Our third function of communication software is provide it provide an interface for users to communicate with one another which is basically the function of application software as we know that there is a variety of example of application software for communication which may include email web browser news group message board chat room video instant messaging etc if we allow our users to access and view web page on the internet, it uses a particular application software which is called as web browser. So in order to transmit messages and files via a network such as internet, we use a software which is called as email. In order to transmit our video audio to the online user, we use an application software which is called as instant message. So in this way, a specific software help our users to perform their specific function. Some communication devices are programmed to commu accomplish communication tasks. While there are some communication devices which do not complete their uh, communication software and uh, uses a separate communication software to ensure their proper transmission of data. Communication software works with so a communication software works with the network standards and protocols so that their data can move correctly through a network here is a question that what is protocol protocol is basically a rule that ensure communication among computer of different types and of and from different manufacturers and the next is communication software is usually bundled with operating system or purchased network devices as operating system may include memory and storage management, input, output, communication, accounting, security, and etc. Often a computer has various type of communication software, each serving a different purpose. But we can discuss here the one type of software which help users to establish a connection to internet using a wizards. So a wizard is basically a term used to describe an individual who is very skilled with computer or it a computer programming and the next is dialog boxes dialog boxes is basically a graphical control element in the form of small window that communicate information from 
one users to other and it shows the instant response to the users communication software also allow home and small office users to configure wired and wireless network and connect devices to an existing network a wireless network is basically a network which allow devices to snake connect to the network without using any cable wire while a wired network allow devices to connect with each other wire through a cable such as laptop and desktop computer to the internet or any other network our next topic is communication over the telephone network the public switch telephone network pstn is the worldwide telephone system that handles voice oriented telephone calls data and information can be transmitted through this by with the help of digital technology rather using analog technology which is exception of the link from the local telephone company to a home the telephone network is an integral part of computer communication data can be transmitted through a telephone network using dial up lines or dedicated lines here we can discuss various type of lines that use the telephone network for data communication first of all we use dial up line dial up line is basically a temporary correction using telephone lines for communication it costs no more than making a regular call computers if we place two computers at any different location and so and uh, transmit our information the dial up line can use a modem and telephone network so that it can transmit their information from one computer to another computer here we can use a word modem so a digital modem a modem is basically a device that adapts digital signal from one transmission system to another there are three types of digital modem that is cable modem dsl modem and isdn modem Our next topic is dedicated line. A dedicated line is a type of always on connection that uses analog or digital line. It is a permanent connection. It can use both digital and analog line at the same time. A dedicated line is better than a dial up line because it provide a constant connection between the two computers. the dedicated line is further divided into five types that is isdn line dsl line ftp line t carrier line and atm isdn line is stand for integrated service digital network it is a communication technology that combine both digital telephone and data transport service it digitize that telephone network to allow the transmission of audio video images to the telephone line and next we can discuss the second type of dedicated line which is fiber which is dsl line digital subscriber line is popular digital line alternative for small business or home users a small business user a small business or home can use this line because it provide a fast speed on existing standard there are following types of digital subscriber line the first name of the digital type of sub digital subscriber line is asymmetric digital subscriber line next is very high bit rate digital subscriber line third one is symmetric digital subscriber line fourth is rate adaptive digital subscriber line fifth is high bit or we may say that data rate digital subscriber line sixth one is integrated service digital network the third type of dedicated line is ftp which stands for fiber to the premises it uses fiber optic cable to provide extremely high speed internet access to a users permanent location it have following two types that is FTTH which stands for fiber to the home and second is FTTB which stands for fiber to the building FTTP 
service can work in a way such that it uh, such as an optical terminal at your premises receives the signal and then transfer to a rotor to your computer and that rotor is connected to your computer so we may say that FTTP service can work in the form of first it first the optical terminal at your premises receives the signal and then it transfer to the rotor which is connected to your computer so here we can discuss what is rotor a rotor is a network device that forward data packets between computer network it performs traffic directing functions on the internet the next type of dedicated line is t carrier the t carrier is any of several type of long distance digital telephone line that carry multiple signal over a single communication line so a t carry can carry a lot of messages multiple signals over a single communication line the most popular t carrier is t1 line which business often use t1 line to connect to the internet it seems that fractional t1 is slower than dedicated t1 line but it is also less expensive a T3 line is equal to the speed of 28 T1 line and are quite expensive. The internet backbone also uses T3 line. It seems T3 line is very expensive as compared to T1 line but the internet backbone can use T3 line as compared to T1 line. Our next topic is next type is ATM. ATM is basically stand for asynchronous transfer mode. A service that first point we may in the ATM is a survey that carrier voice data video and media at a very high speed so ATM can service these things at a very high speed number second is phone network the internet and the other network with large amount of traffic use ATM if their phone network can face a large amount of traffic so we can use ATM and the third is ATM is expected to replace T3 line as the internet standard for data communication. As we know that T3 line is very expensive. So ATM is expected to replace T3 line as the internet standard for data communication. And the next is speed of various dedicated lines. In order to discuss about the speed of various dedicated line, the most popular speed for dedicated connections are 120 and 10 Mbps. Here we can discuss that Mbps stands for million bits per second. A high bandwidth connection which is typically greater than 35 million bits per second are usually provisioned exclusively over fiber optic circuit. In some cases, this slower connection can be delivered using a mixture of fiber and copper. So in order to improve our connection, we use a mixture of fiber and copper. A good internet is at or above 25 million bits per second. And fast internet speed those in 100 plus million bits per second. Here we can uh, discuss that KBPS stands for 1000 bits per second. MBPS stands for million bits per second. GBPS stands for billion bits per second. So, types of uh, dedicated lines cable it may include 256 KBPS to 52 million bits per second. Its range includes from 1000 bits per second to million bits per second. As DSL, DSL include 256,000 bits per second to 8.4 million bits per second. T1 line can carry 1.54 million bits per second and T3 carries 44.736 million bits per second. And the last one is ATM. It may include 155 million bits per second to 622 million bits per second. And can it may can reach to 10 billion bits per second. So this is all about my topic communication software and communication over the telephone network. Thank you so much.